live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Well, you heard it. We're in the Carl Chevrolet Studios. I'm Terry Rich, and uh, it's fun to have special guests on St. Patrick's Day who can tell us about history. And so we're going to go to Professor Jeff Stein with the Iowa Almanac to talk about something. Uh, well, it's like starting a new business organization, which is always tough. Take it away, Professor Stein. Good morning, Terry. Good morning to you and to everyone. It can take an awful long time to get a new business or any entity off the ground. And that was certainly the case with the Iowa Agricultural College and Model Farm. It was officially established on March 22, 1858 by the Iowa legislature. But that was just in concept. It took more than a year before Story County was selected as the site for the college. And it became the first land-grant institution in America, as designated by the Iowa legislature in 1864. But it would still be quite a while later before there were any students at the place. What became known as the Iowa State Agricultural College, or IAC for short, was formally opened for the admission of students on March 17 of 1869. Now that's almost 11 years to the day after legislation was passed establishing it. A preparatory class of 70 men and women was received the previous October. And you see, Terry, that made the school co-educational from the very start. I imagine they had a big celebration when it began, didn't they? Oh, they did indeed. On that first formal day of classes in 1869, President Adonja S. Welch was inaugurated. The main building was dedicated as well. Now, it had been completed the year before at a cost of $10,570, and it included a reception room, library, lecture hall, professor's room, students' rooms, a chapel, kitchen, laundry, and dining room, all in that one building. Now, the curriculum of the new college focused on agriculture and mechanic arts. In that first term, classes were taught in rhetoric, landscape gardening, German, algebra, arithmetic, bookkeeping, geography, analysis, and even instrumental music. And I suppose after all of this, uh, there was a first graduating class. Yep, they actually had some graduates. That first class made up of 24 men and two women that graduated in 1872. Now, you all might know this facility better today as the Iowa State University of Science and Technology, because that's the name it has held since 1959. But as the Iowa State Agricultural College, it officially opened to students on this date in 1869. That's pretty cool. And I, on those very steps, I was able as a student to protest different things while I was going to college, as students do today. All right, well, tell us a little about uh, how they can find out more, because you've got a great website and uh, all of the different things. Tell us some of the things they can find on that website. You bet. If you go to iowaalmanac.com, we have a different story every weekday. You can hear the audio from the radio that we air across the state. Also read the story. It's iowaalmanac.com, and we're social too, Terry on Getter and Twitter and Parlor and Instagram, all at Iowa All Back. Uh, Professor Stein, how long have you been doing this? I mean, you have really built quite a, quite a uh, fun business out of all of this. Did, uh, tell me how you guys started. When did you, how long have you been doing it? Yeah, it's been a great deal of fun. Uh, it's now on 30 different radio stations across the state. This is the eighth year. We came up with the idea literally 10 years ago this year and uh, took a while to get things put together, but now we've done more than 400 stories and always glad when we can share some with the Iowa Live audience. And again, uh, will you reemphasize, let's talk about the website again where people can find all of this information. Yes, sir, iowaalmanac.com. We're also doing a presentation in a tumble with these stories and people can be there in person or they can watch on Zoom. And if you go to the main page of iowaalmanac.com and scroll all the way down, all the information is there about that Tuesday event. So fun to learn about Iowa history and we appreciate your time today. Thank you so much, Dr. Jeff Stein.